Hi everybody, uh, it's Jesse from the Cold Spring Harbor Library. I am back with another movie review. I hope that everyone is uh, doing well still. Um, I am going to select another, another movie that I found on the Hoopla platform, which you as Cold Spring Harbor residents um, have the right to access. If you go on to cshlibrary.org, you're going to want to click on the Hoopla thumbnail and then you're going to want to create a username and a password if you haven't already done that. And then really the only other thing that you, um, you need is your library card number. And then you're going to have access to a really uh, pretty large platform of movies and uh, ebooks and things of that nature. For the movies, you have three days to watch them. There are no late fees that you would incur. They're automatically taken off your card once you finish that three-day period. Um, so I chose Adopt a Highway. I'm a big Ethan Hawke fan, and that was primarily the reason why I chose the movie. Gattaca is one of my favorite uh, favorite films. He's in, he's in Lord of War, which I loved, and the, the Before Trilogy with Julie Delpy, which was directed by Richard Linklater, and another film that I love by Richard Linklater um, and starring Ethan Hawke is Boyhood. So naturally, I saw this and I figured I would give it a shot. It's something that really hadn't gotten very much fanfare. I've heard a little bit about it, but um, I really didn't know too much before watching it. And bear with me for, for a moment here because I have some notes, but I'm trying to extemporize at the same time. Um, but in essence, what, what this film is, it's about a, um, a felon who just gets out of serving a 21-year prison sentence for possession of an ounce of marijuana uh, with the intent to distribute. He was convicted three times prior, um, and since the film takes place in California at the time, there was the three-strike policy, which essentially mandated that he serve uh, X amount of time in prison, which was, I think, 20 to 25 years. But he was in prison and he served the duration of his uh, jail sentence, sentence, which again was 21 years. And he kind of comes out and the world has completely changed around him and he's very maladjusted. And he sort of missed the advent of technology where now everything is computerized. There's email and there's texting and he doesn't have a mobile phone. He doesn't know how to send an email. And there's actually a pretty funny scene early on where he's communicating with his parole officer and the parole officer says to him essentially that there are some really, really important documents that you need to get to me on, on a weekly basis. And Ethan Hawke looks at him and he goes, sure, but what's the address to send it to? And his parole officer knows right at that moment that like Ethan Hawke has no idea what an email is or how to use an email. So the majority of the film is Ethan Hawke's character trying to reacclimate himself to society, a society that is very, very different and very evolved from the society that he remembers. Um, and it's just him trying to adapt. He's not someone that has a lot of money and he's kind of living out of a motel. He gets a job in a, um, in a fast food establishment as a cook. And one night he actually discovers a, a baby in the dumpster. And so there's this internal conflict as to whether he should keep the child or if he should report it to the authorities, although he really doesn't want to do that because he just wants nothing to do with the authorities at this point. So he makes the decision that he is going to try to keep the child. Um, and raise the child to, to the best of his ability. And unfortunately, it's, it's a very short period of time where he has this child, but those are some of the really the most poignant scenes in the whole entire movie. His interactions with this child are really, really sweet and really, really good natured uh, scenes. Um, unfortunately, the baby ends up hitting her head and as a result, Ethan Hawke is very nervous, so he takes her to a doctor. And one of the, 
the doctors and the nurses alerts authorities um, that the baby's injured and so of course at that point Ethan Hawke discloses that he's not really the baby's parent they take the child away from him um, so judging by the the um, poster you would think that the the child has a much larger role in the film but really that's not the case I think that it's more indicative of the effect that the child has on Ethan Hawke's character, um, the, the sense of purpose that the child gives Ethan Hawke. Um, so that's that's really sweet, but unfortunately, after that point, things kind of go downhill. Um, as you can see from the runtime, it's really, really scant, one hour and 18 minutes, and um, towards the end of the film, the third act, it really, really stretches kind of thin. After Ethan Hawke loses the child, he decides that he just wants to get out of the state of California entirely. He wants to go and uh, visit the site of his parents' grave. Uh, both his parents are deceased at this point. And there's another scene where he is on a bus. Um, it's probably a 10 or 15 minute scene. And you're introduced to a female character and she's really quirky. And then there's this sort of fun, playful interaction between the two of these characters, and you almost assume that this is going to develop into a love interest for Ethan Hawke's character, because he's kind of this lonely drifter, and really none, nothing comes to fruition. Um, the interaction ends, she gets off in Colorado, and he continues to travel, and she just says, if you're ever back in Denver, you know, come find my brother's restaurant. Uh, so the, the third act especially felt a little bit uh, contrived, I would say, that they were just trying to fill the time to get it to that one hour and 18 minute mark, which again is absolutely crazy. I, there are very few movies, and I'm not even sure if this got a theatrical release, but there are very, very few movies that kind of come in in under an hour and 20 minutes. That's unheard of. Uh, I also really wasn't crazy about the ending, and I don't want to discuss too much about that in case you decide to see it, but you know, in the process of trying to put a bow right on top of it, some of the some of the loose ends really didn't feel like they came together all that well, if any of that makes sense. It was just, I don't know, it was too fairy tale ish for me, for my liking. Um, but again, Ethan Hawke is great, and I, I really try to maintain objectivity here because I think he's a great actor, but he really, really shows off his range in this film. Um, He's just, he's a sweet, relatable, likable character, and you kind of, you, you really just feel for him. You feel for him. I, I think that the whole premise of the film really involves and underscores uh, the need for reform in, in the penal system. Someone really that committed a, a petty crime three times is put in jail for 21 years, um, and it's just the effect of, of him coming out and seeing a totally different world that he's not comfortable living in. Um, so I would suggest, if you're a fan of Ethan Hawke, I would suggest watching it solely for him. He's unbelievably good. The scenes with the, with the child are really, really sweet, and they'll melt your heart. But if you're really not an Ethan Hawke fan, and the premise doesn't intrigue you, I would probably dissuade you from watching it. But again, an hour and 20 minutes is a short movie, so you can kind of make the decision if you want to spend some time watching it. It's probably something I'm mildly happy that I watched once. I don't think I'll watch it again. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in watching it, then I would, uh, I'd say go for it. Before I go, I just want to pass along an email address that was given to me, askref at cshlibrary.org. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, even if you just want to say hi, this is something that's, um, everything's going to be funneled to me, all the emails, and to my colleague Tom. So I'd like to hear from you guys if, if, uh, if you guys have anything to say. I'll be working on another review soon, probably using the Hoopla platform again. And that should be out sometime next week or in two weeks. And I hope everybody's well, and I look forward to the next one. All right, thank you.